I have my voltmeter leads across this operating thermostat and it's set to cut out at 155 and it should drop back in at uh, 25 degrees less which is 130 degrees F. So I'm going to monitor this. I'm in a time high heat cycle so I want to see with an IR gun when this thing is going to open up. Now if you don't understand anything what I'm doing right now, you can go back and uh, look at my previous video. I'll go into a lot more detail about all of these controls. I'll put a link in this uh, in the description and it'll be also at the end of this video. So right now we're going to get it started up. And we're going to take the IR gun and we're going to monitor that thermostat. We're going to be looking at this here heat. And as I mentioned, Right now we got 100 millivolts across this uh, thermostat contact. It is uh, closed right now. And I'm looking for it to open. It should open around 155 degrees. And then it should reclose again, 25 degrees less, at 130. So when we see the voltmeter rise up to around 240 volts AC, then we know that's when the contact had opened. And we're going to be doing that, looking at the voltmeter, Monitoring this here temperature and see when all that happens. So, like I said, I'm looking at uh, looking at 155 degrees. So right now we're at uh, 129 degrees, 130 degrees. Voltmeters running around 95 millivolts. So we're going to do this in real time. Short sure take maybe uh, maybe about three minutes or so here. So we're already at 137 degrees now. Like I say, you could check this contact, and this contact, I say, will be closed when it's normally as it should be, but we have no idea if it's going to open up at the correct temperature. That's what I'm doing right here now. I want to verify this here contact is going to open up as it should. So right now we're at 145 degrees and we're running around 93 millivolts. So the contact is still close. We're at 146, 93 millivolts still. And by the way, I do have a brand new timer in here now. So like I said, around 155, that voltmeter should go up to 240 volts, which indicate that that uh, contact opens. There it goes, 152 degrees. Alright, so what we want to do now is we want to monitor this, uh, this here temperature also. Again, we want to be sure that it's going to kick back in around 130 degrees. We see the voltmeter drops down into the millivolt range, then we know that it's there. So we got 131, 132, 